This is the Jaguar F-Pace. It's the most important Jaguar for a generation. You see, it's Jaguar's first SUV and... Sorry, Batch. This is the very first Jaguar to have been designed specifically with women in mind. Keys belong to me. As Batch was saying, this elegant looking car is the first SUV in Jaguar's 80 year history. And while some may question why Jaguar is branching out into the world of SUVs, others are asking why it's taken so long. And me, well, I'm of the view, why haven't they done it sooner? You see, by not having an SUV in their range, Jaguar was not only missing out on this important sector of the car market, they were also missing out on female buyers. Women now influence over 80% of all new car sales. And we quite like SUVs. And I think we're going to like this one. Inside, it has a similar look to the small Jaguar XE Saloon. And what I really like about it in here is just how simple and pared back it is. It's the kind of car interior that you know an awful lot of thought and work has gone into designing. But once you're in here, it just doesn't shout at you too much. It just gets on with the job quietly. There are some really nice design details, like the dial that operates the eight-speed automatic gearbox. Now, as you'd expect, a woman likes a different seating, a different driving position to a man. And these seats have been designed specifically with a woman's body shape in mind. And there's enough adjustment in both the seat and the steering wheel to suit a small woman or a big strapping bloke. Now the F-Pace is one of the most connected cars on the road. It features Jaguar's latest and impressive infotainment system. The family will love getting connected whilst they're on the road thanks to the Wi-Fi. And the driver will appreciate the real-time traffic updates that the system receives. It can be a bit fiddly to use when you're on the road, but it's the kind of system that you quickly get used to and really start to appreciate how much easier it makes your life. In fact, the only gripe that I've got in here is that the wheel here on the side to adjust the steering wheel is just a bit clunky. And the funny little air bumps in here that hold the cup holder in place, only they hold it a bit too much. So every time I try to get my cup out, I end up spilling tea on myself. Storage is excellent with good sized useful door bins, a large glove box and centre console along with other little storage compartments dotted around the interior. There's a simple range of trims and engines. For 2 litre diesel cars there's Prestige, R Sport like we have here and Portfolio. Equipment levels are good and even the entry level Prestige comes with leather seats, 18 inch alloy wheels, sat nav, a powered tailgate and a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as Bluetooth connectivity, all-run parking sensors and cruise control. Space here in the back is good. There's excellent headroom and legroom, even with a six-footer in the driving seat. Now, you're probably not going to want to be the adult here in the centre seat for a very long journey. And I do think it's a shame that you can't quite squeeze three child seats across here. But I like all the practical details of which there are lots. You've got good sized door bins, nets here on the back of the seats and two USB charging points, which as any parent has had to go on a long journey, the kids will testify will be an absolute godsend. Round here at the back, you get the ever popular and as always on all cars, slightly too slow powered tailgate. And what's great on this is that on some models, you can also just kind of waggle your foot around, do a silly dance in the car park, and it opens automatically, which is fantastic if you're laden with shopping bags, bikes, all that paraphernalia of family life. Now, in terms of size, well, it's pretty good. In fact, in terms of space, it can actually rival a BMW X5, which is a car from a class above. And if you want even extra space, then the rear seats split and fold in a whole multitude of configurations. So, that's the boot, great for family life. Another thing that's quite handy for family life is this. It's a waterproof, shockproof electronic transponder. And what it does is let you leave your keys in the car and open and close the car using this activity key. And it's brilliant for family days out for the beach and for anyone that leads a busy, active, sporty lifestyle. It's just another example of the huge amount of thought that's gone into making this a great family car. So 
So we've got the 178 brake horsepower 2 litre diesel in our sport trim and it's our pick of the range. Look, it can be a little bit noisy when you accelerate, but it soon settles down to a really comfortable cruise, particularly when you're out on the motorway. Once you get behind the wheel of the F-Pace, you realise pretty quickly that it feels far more like a car to drive than it does a big hulking 4x4. Jaguar haven't got so tied up in developing a family car that they've forgotten that they also have a reputation for building fantastic driving cars, great sports cars. So the F-Pace is a really fun car to drive. The eight-speed gearbox feels smooth and relaxing and throughout the range there's a choice of rear-wheel drive or if you want to do some light off-roading, all-wheel drive too. Come on, I know I've been joking about, oh, it's a car designed with women in mind, but I'm sure you've got something to say about it too, haven't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the thing that strikes me the most about this car is it's got really sharp steering, it's huge fun to drive, it, and yet it doesn't roll around in the corners like a big SUV should, and yet the ride is so comfortable. Yeah. But the car I'm most looking forward to, though, is the three litre supercharged petrol. That is going to be fantastic. Thus speaks a man who's not too worried about frequent trips to the petrol station. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you're right, it will be great fun, but I mean, this is surely the pick of the bunch when it comes to uh, fuel economy. Yeah. The two litre diesel engine, um, Jaguar are claiming around 53 miles to the gallon. You're not going to get that, but it's still the most frugal option. It is. There are a few niggles though, and I hate to sort of pour cold water on what you've been saying. For me, the quality and the materials used up at the, the upper part of the dash are great, but lower down there are a few scratchy plastics down on the doors and on the centre console. Oh, you're picky, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the, the only real gripe that I'd have is, um, is visibility. You know, it's not amazing at the yes. back. Yeah. But it's such a pretty car and its, it's shape is so elegant and lovely that I, I can forgive it even that. So the F-Pace then, a very complete car, one that manages to be desirable, practical and is sporty to drive. You know, we've waited years for a Jaguar SUV to come along and now it has. It's definitely been worth the wait. If you want an SUV that's also sporty and desirable to own, take a look at our Porsche Macan review on the left. Or why not watch our review of the equally sporty BMW X4 on the right. Click at the top for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.